All right, welcome back, ladies and gents, to Kingwin Pro League 2015. We're onwards to our second match of the day. Now, here's the thing I want to say before we move on. King Gwyn is looking for new casters, so if you guys feel like, uh, you know, you want to cast, you want to be involved in the whole casting environment, and with King Gwyn itself, you could um, send your videos, like your VODs, of yourself casting, just to show off your casting skills and whatnot, to esports at kingwin.net. Esports is in one word, no dash, nothing, just straight up esports at kingwin.net. They're going to be reviewing those, and you could get yourself kind of a kickoff uh, at Kingwin. So that could be kind of nice for you. So, that being said, onwards to the next match, we're going to be casting Savic versus Zixo. Two players who are, you know, very, very highly rated, I would venture, in the Hearthstone world. Zixo, a bit more on the aggressive side. Savic on the spectrum of the playstyle is probably more on the control side. But we've seen both players play a variety of genres over the time. Oh yeah, that's true. Like, everything was happening with both of these players. And Savic uh, is bringing major... Mage and Priest again, so I would assume he's playing those weird fatigue kinda control decks, right? It's really fun yeah. to do, to see those decks because they, they are different from the whole variety of decks that we usually see. And um, in my personal opinion, it's entertaining. You know, those, those decks are really entertaining to watch and to comment, but I feel kinda blindfolded most of the turns. Because you don't generally play the, those types of decks yourself? Yeah, exactly. Okay. That's what, those are the decks I like playing most. Mail is probably the thing that I like um, to play the most. In fact, it's probably one of the archetypes that I've played uh, on ladder more than anything else before. So I, I can probably have decent ideas of how... I feel like a lot of it plays like Freeze Mage in many ways when you're playing Mage mm -hmm, Mail. Mm -hmm. When you're playing Priest Fatigue though, it's a, bit, uh, it's, a bit, it's a tiny bit different. I think that's an archetype that's largely unexplored still, even though a lot of players have been playing it. It's still got a lot of those little tempo plays that you can make that are a bit on the uh, unexplored side. So, Savic has a very control-heavy, theoretically control-heavy lineup. Mage, Priest, and Warrior. Zixo, on the other hand, bringing Hunter, Rogue, and Warrior. So, he, you know, both of them are bringing Warrior, which uh, you were saying in the first match that it's a class that um, you find a little weird to play, but at the same time, we just saw Thais do amazing versus show with his Warrior yeah. deck. He was very close um, to just getting... A super, yeah. you know, super amazing win rate. So that, I don't that's know. True. Well, maybe I don't, I don't know something about the meta game. That's possible. Yeah. I but mean, I, I'm just. Uh, I will have to see how it develops. I just feel like, you know, Warrior's biggest strength is probably Face Hunter, and Face Hunter is popular, and Face Hunter is generally a win for the Warrior player. Of course, you know, Hunter has what it takes to just sweep the game and prevent the Warrior from winning, but they they typically are at a fairly good advantage, and it also wins against Rogue, Tinker, Sharp Sword, or Rogue, obviously, which mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've seen less and less of. I don't know if that's the case uh, for everyone else, but I've seen less Oil Rogues recently because Face Hunter has been all over the place, and as a result, that specific deck tends to suffer, so Warrior cycles back in to counter uh, Face Hunter, and they also happen to counter Oil Rogue, so... Oil Rogue is kind of pushed to the side as a result of those two classes, Control Warrior and Face Hunter battling for the spot. That's true. Um, okay, well, both players were starting with the, I think, most aggressive decks that they both have. Well, okay, never mind, Xixxo has Hunter. So, Sabir will be playing with Mage and Xixxo Rogue. Yeah. I'm surprised Zixo is not going SM Oric on us with uh, Hunter Face, Hunter Face, Hunter Face. But he's got to be keeping that for when he... Like, I feel like you could keep that um, as a second deck. To, I mean, I like leading with Face Hunter, though, if I have to be honest. It's just that Savic's lineup contains Priest and Warrior, both decks which are, generally speaking, okay against Face Hunter. It's one of the few... Um, co combinations of decks that can deal with it effectively. So if you lead with it, you've got a 66% chance that Savic leads with Priest or Warrior, in which case your Hunter gets negated. So Savic may be reading into this, decides to pick his uh, his Mage, knowing that Zixo will not pick Hunter. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's going to be Mage versus Rogue, a matchup that is slightly, and I say slightly, in favor of Rogue. It's very, uh, very slightly. It... Unless it will be Death Lords. It could be fatigue, and based on what I, uh, based on what I'm looking at here, Savich is playing either Freeze Mage or Fatigue Mage. I think it's mage. Freeze Mage. No, it's Freeze yeah. Mage. Why would you play Pyroblast and other other types of Mage, right? Yeah, I don't think uh, it makes any sense unless you're trying to fatigue your opponent. But this is a good matchup for All Rogue. This tends to be a pretty good matchup for them. And Zixel just drops that two one, maybe not realizing that he's facing Freeze Mage. I wonder. 
I'm in that free card. Coin out a hmm. ping, get a free card. That's uh, pretty good value. And Zixo's running cold blood. Is this Cancer Rogue all over again? I think it is. Wow. Oh my goodness. This is a return of Backspace Rogue. An Neutron Cold Blood. Wow. That's I love interesting. this. Argent Squire, so, the Neutrons, Cold Bloods. Double Pirates, right? I uh, yeah, the, generally speaking, I mean, this is a type of deck that used to be very prevalent for a while in Backspace. Um, you know, made it more known, I guess. Mm -hmm. Oh man, this is such a weird situation. I feel like Sap Cold Blood is almost good. Well, Sap. Mm, do you want to Sap a Loot Hoarder? Or you know maybe, what I like? Uh, yeah, what? I like Sap Cold Blood here just because it gives you, it forces the opponent mm -hmm. to spend two turns dealing with an Anoyotron, which means she pings, then she can't play something, and then she has a Frost Bolt. It's such an awkward spot for the mage. Yeah, that's true. That's five points of attack, which is really huge. Doomsayer. Well, well okay. <laughs> oh no! Oh, Zixo! You can't use your Anoyotron now. Oh man, Savich has to think this through. Do I want to drop the Doomsday? I would drop it anyway. It you don't have any way. You have to top deck a Frost Nova. Yeah, like you so have to, to get to, something. To play the Doomsday in turn 5. I would rather not count on that. Well, hmm. Savic says, you know what? I'd rather not get lost on backstab. And uh, wow, Zixo finds a Cold Light, one of the most important cards in this matchup. You get to get that card draw in the mid game, especially since Freeze Mage can get punished by you overdrawing them sometimes. Look at this Anoyotron, still not killable. Hmm. He needs to find a Frost Bolt off the ping here. He definitely needs to find a Frost Bolt. Ice Lance. Or Ice Lance. That's not bad. Yeah, yeah that's... that's okay. And now Zixo is gonna find a Sap. <laughs> <laughs> Second Sap. You know Zop. what? It's up. Zixo is German. Zap? Yeah. Is it called Zap in German? Well, in German you read S as a Z. Z? Okay. Yeah. Zap. <laughs> I'm gonna Zap you. Well, let's see what he does. I mean, he, he could risk the cold light. But I don't like it too much. You what I so? like though is... It's just sorry, your what? dagger, I think. Yeah, yeah. Well, the thing I like about Lepronome in this matchup is that when the mage thinks that he's about to kill you or protect himself with Ice Block, you drop Lepernome and you forget about it, and then you win. Oh, double draw. That's not good. Wait, the Mad Santis just saved the day. Yeah. Otherwise, there will be a Loot Hoarder, so Dagger into Loot Hoarder into uh, um, Call That Oracle, right? Three, six, seven, eight. that will mean one burned card. So here's my question to you, Lothar. Why do so few I'm people... I'm Bono, sorry. Sorry, I'm Bono. Yeah, yeah I have a question for you, Bono. Um, do you two, when you have a Lepronome, <laughs> drop it on the board <laughs> immediately? Because I feel like against Freeze Mage, what you want to do is you want to draw the Lepronome as the last card to pop their block by force. Yeah, I agree. I, I don't know why every single time I see someone play against mages, they just drop the Lepronome for two damage in the mid game. It seems to be a very common trend. Yeah, and I, it, I'm just, it basically uh, says to your opponent, when you drop it on the crucial turn, you, you can't use AoE at all, apart from Frost Nova. Exactly. So I feel like for that reason, it tends to be a much heavier play. I mean, this is going to be such a pain for Savish to deal with. Look wow. at this board. That's 6, 10, 14. That's a huge amount of damage next turn. Yeah, Flame Strike is going to have to come out, but well, it's going to be very be tight. Crucial. So Frost Nova now? Nope. Um... Yeah. Flame strike, Flame strike? Yeah. Has to be. I guess so. I mean, what are your alternatives? There's really none. Three, six, seven, eight, nine cards. Oh, man. Oh, man. That is lethal. Well, that was a nice block. Is there? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's going to be like, how can he pop it, though? I mean, how can Savich redeploy and live? It's all about... Uh... So like, look at that. Look at that Lepronome. Look at how Lepronome would have been annoying. I guess he wouldn't have popped the block that early then. Yeah, so... But I mean, like, this is very wait, wait, shy. Wait. He has second ice... Uh, ice block, yeah. But it doesn't help against Blade Flurry. Um, so but he can Alexstrasza next turn. Here? No, he you ice block, turn, you can, you can Alexstrasza this turn. I think that's the, that's the turn when you do no. it. No, 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 no. No? 
No, you ice block, I you ice block, ice barrier, doomslayer, and then you play Alex. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, otherwise you might just die, right? I feel like like if you put yourself on fifteen, you 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 do avoid a cold blood and a tinkers because you've seen them. But well, then on turn ten you drop ice block, uh, ice block, um, uh, barrier, and you have still four points of mana, so you can use whatever. Oh man. A Zixo can actually kill a Doomslayer. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna feel very relevant to him, but he can. Well, he has what? to pop the block with the Blade Flurry. That's what well, he has to do. Yeah, that or... He can't attack first into the face. Yeah. You know what I find interesting is that he could Shadow Step either of the minions, and it almost feels like Shadow Stepping a 1-1 is better than the, the gold. <laughs> interesting approach. Yeah, because you do get the Divine Shield back, whereas the Golem does nothing. Mm -hmm. See, it's, look at the board now. It's the same as last turn, but you don't have Ice Blocks. That's why I would like the Alex Treza first. No, you do have Ice Block. Um, no, you don't. You have Ice Barrier. Ice block yeah, he has to pop. attack you. Okay. So there have been a difference, ultimately? you would No, you would be dead. You would? No. That was 8, he would, 9, he could 10, have double blade 11. Flurried. Yeah, he could have double blade flurried. That's with still not enough. I don't know, a lot of damage was wasted on the Doomsayers. 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. That was 11 points of damage. Yeah, 11 points. Well, Zixo gets a Tinker Sharp Sword. Very important card here to burst down the mage. The mage is uh, possibly going to be... I mean, honestly, this is going to be so Five. difficult. How many points of damage is that? Five plus six. Yeah, lethal over two turns. Well, there's, uh, Zixo's got to be top decking a little bit here. He's got to top deck three damage. Well, Savish used both ice blocks and both um, ice barriers. He's going to freeze his opponent's face with that frostbolt. So, an eviscerate or, or what else? Eviscerate or... Um, well, he can't attack, right? yeah. Yeah, I think Eviscerate is the only real good top deck. SI7 would Cold almost cut it. Uh, yeah, I, I really feel like there are about two top decks. I mean, Arcane Golem would do it. Uh, well, you have uh, to Wolf paint Rider. <gasps> no, 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 no. I feel like you have to play to win and go face well, without one. Cold Blood, uh, Cold Blood is lethal. What? Why did he Blood Mage I, at I don't the know. end of the turn if he played Frostbolt first? What the hell? I don't know. Man. Oh my god, this is lethal! I didn't like that at all. He just lost because he didn't think that 1-1. What the? Whoa! What happened there? Uh, I don't know. Oh goodness. What that was a pro, I think. He played Blood Mage. You... And he did, wait, he played Blood Rage after Frostbolt, and he didn't kill the 1-1. One -one. I'm actually astonished at this. He will have 12, 20 points of damage next turn anyway, with double fireball, 21 points of damage. And at, I don't remember how exact, uh, what was the exact um, health of the rogue. Oh, 26, she was down to like... 27. 20, yeah, 27, 27 so... She, took with... eight, she would have died. No, he, he wouldn't. No, he wouldn't. He wouldn't die. But so, um, Savish went for lethal w without killing the one one. Well, he would have lethal anyone if anyway, he would yeah. just ping the one one ping and go one face one, for the eight. Face. Yeah. yeah um, uh, I, I, I feel know. like because he played loot hoarder and blood mage, but he played blood mage at the end of the turn, um, where he could have played it before frostbolt and ping the one one instead of playing loot hoarder first and wanting to develop the spell damage. So, I, I just feel like the lineup that he took, uh, the, li the line of play that he took, seemed to have shifted sometime during the middle of the turn. And that, that is not very typical of Savic. He tends to plan mm -hmm, his turns mm -hmm. very, very far ahead. So, that seemed like a bit of a, kind of a play, a shot in the dark. Um, and that's not very common of him. So, he's going to be replaying his mage. And Zixo is going to have to move on to either Hunter or Warrior. But against Freeze Mage, he could play Warrior and do very well. But he opts well, for the yeah. Hunter. Yeah. Well, oh, Hunter is also Hunter good. Is still amazing. I mean, Freeze Mage is getting hard countered by Zixo's lineup right now. Aggro yeah, Rogue, Aggro that's Hunter, true. and a Warrior. That seems very that's difficult. Very so Zixo kind of 
outplayed Savage during the deck building process. Yeah, that's possible. It's one of the things in Conquest that a lot of people need to pay very heavy amounts of attention to because it, the easiest way to lose is to be predictable in the way you're going to play. Um, in Conquest format, you can be exploited very easily. Mm -hmm. More so than last year's standing, I would say sometimes. True, true. Well, maybe there will be Chasm Mystic or Flares <laughs> in the Hunter's, uh, Hunter deck. Well, if Probably he does not. have the Flare, Probably. I mean, if he's got Kazan Mystic, he can handle mages very easily. Face Hunter okay. doesn't even need it, though. You, you have to explain me. What's the idea behind using Freezing Trap in Face Hunters? I don't get it. That's the second week in a row when we see that. The Mirror Match? No, I still don't get it. Um, keeping stuff on the board when the opponent tries to get it out to counter your stuff and 4 for 1 you with 1 minion because your stuff is so weak. I mean, I'm guessing it's got to do with something like this. It just feels a little off. I just don't like it. I don't know. I would rather put more pressure in the deck than rely on a card that is basically delaying your damage and maybe delaying your opponent. Maybe. Yeah. Well, still no indication that it is going to be the uh, uber aggressive hunter. That was so German of you. Uber. Uber aggression. So, 10 free pink, which is not great at all. Well, it's got to feel a little slow, right? Oh man, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Zexo can just pack some more aggression. Do you prefer, don't you prefer Glaivezuka Worgen? Yeah. That, that's what I wanted to say. You have more weapons in your deck, I assume. So you just want to drop those as soon as possible. Mm. Well, he know. goes for the massive uh, recurring damage minions on the board. Can't fault him. Just uh... it like it feels you are greatly playing into a turn four from the mage because there's many possibilities to fill two points of mana with the ping. I think the rationale was I play Wolf Rider now on turn three and then I get to play uh, two drop plus boat plus Glaivezuka or but Hero he didn't Power have plus it. for curving. No, no, but it's like he could have weaved in a Hero Power, whereas on turn three he couldn't have weaved it in. That's the only difference is he gets a minion and... Um, well, okay, maybe, maybe you're right. Okay, yeah. never mind. It's, it's a tiny difference, but I think that's what he was going for here. Man, Zixel just vomiting that hand on the board. I he? he can't wait for uh Will he vomit right. the second Vorgan? That's on turn five, so six, right? Does he doesn't have to, he can just put pressure with this board because the mage has to clear it anyway. Um But I bet well, he can't wait for quick shot. Savish has to draw a Alexstrasza as soon as possible. Oh, this is gonna be good. That's he actually has... really good here for Savish. Yeah, but but he has to draw the Alexstrasza, like that's his win condition, to raise the Hunter. That's the one skill command. That's a pretty functional card. So, hero power, pass? I think so. I mean, I don't think you're doing anything else. If you play a minion, you might give him a card draw, which snowballs out of control, because then it eats your explosive trap, and then he gets a... Uh, a probable board wipe on what you've got here. Hmm. Well, he drops the war again, and Savich is going to capitalize on that. With a good explosive sheep. Attack the explosive trap, and then uh, sheep everything up. Do you even yeah, trigger the trap, trade. though? Like, that's the question. Do you trigger explosive trap? I feel like... He could have done it. Yeah, well, maybe not. It's basically yeah. adding two points of damage to your face. Or so maybe you want to avoid that for as long as possible. And you also avoid um, Xixo playing the second explosive trap from the hand. If he's got a second one, he doesn't get to develop it. Well, there's a lot of damage in Savich's hand here. Frostbolt, Iceland. He's got a Blood Mage for the Fireball possible play. You know what? Savich could be counting his damage up here, seeing how much he's got. He's got 7, 19. He's got 29, actually, over a few turns. If he just goes for the uh, next turn, Blood Mage. Oh, for, wait, Blood Mage, Frostbolt, Ice Lance. That was 9 this turn. Into Double Fireball next turn, into Pyroblast. That would have been lethal, wouldn't it? 
Um, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it would have been. I was gonna play it a bit slowly. He's got the safety of the ice block at the very least for now, so... Now he's gonna go for the damage output line of play, while being very safe, in case of burst damage incoming. Second ice block, oh wow. Now this is huge. Uh, this is actually really big, and now, I mean, Helixo can't attack with that Frostbolt Ice Lance. Like, he's actually, Rexar is frozen in place, and there's nothing he can do. So, he's dead next turn. Yeah, he's on Mystic or Rip, and even then... Yep, this is gonna be game. Zixo wow. probably knows it too. That's that's really awesome that the Freeze Mage won against Hunter. <laughs> I think the Explosive Sheep was super clutch. Yeah. Blizzard would have worked, but not nearly as well, I think, in this position. Explosive Sheep was much better because it was, you know, a bit cheaper and you got two card draws from the Acolyte. Oh man. Well, This is, uh, this is the end. Sure it is. So close to that ice block pop. But not quite on it. And Savich is gonna go for the Pyro Blast for insta-kill with Blood Mage. And Shoo! down goes the Hunter. 11 points of damage. damage. Feels like I'm playing uh, Vanilla WoW. You know, Presence of Mind Pyro Blast and you die instantly. That was pretty cool. Alright, well, uh, there's gonna be a win from Savich's Mage, which means they're both gonna be up 1-1, equalizing the series. Savich has Priest and Warrior left versus Zixo um, with his Hunter and his Warrior. Mm -hmm. So Zixo will now turn to his... Um... I've got to give well, the edge what? to Savich here, because Priest and Warrior left against the face Hunter, that's pretty solid. Priest and Warrior against Hunter, that feels like a pretty good uh, remaining lineup, if you're facing True. up against that. And you just, uh, you just like es escaped with the mage under uh, from under the knight, because there was the warrior looming against your freeze mage. So Savish, um, I I thought that Sixo would just not assume that Savish will be going again with the freeze mage. So that's why he didn't pick the warrior. I assume at least. Yeah, probably. But then again, I mean, is it a like I I, I can't. I can't see... Is Zixos Warrior so weak to Priest that he decided to play Hunter instead? Hmm. Because Warrior is basically an auto-win against Freeze Mage, unless the, the, the Mage gets, you know, the perfect Antonidas lineup, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, that is the only time when that happens, so it feels like that would have been a great pick from Zixo, but he went with Hunter and got awkwardly punished. I feel like it's his matchup was a lot better than it uh, than got shown but we're going to be seeing Hunter versus Priest here in a moment. Zixo playing Hunter versus Savich's Priest. That's going to be tough. That's going to be really tough. It really depends on the Priest build also. It, it, it does. It really does, yeah. Sometimes you even want to play Hunter into a Priest. When the Priest is not packing like huge amount of healing and plays Alcani Soul Priest. Because you don't want to drop the Alcani uh, Soul Priest against a Hunter most of the time. Then you just deny yourself the uh, the possibility of of healing, and that's something you want to do almost every single turn. Yeah, you you need to be able to get that early board though. So I I wonder if uh, with BRM we'll be seeing a lot more of those tempo pre stacks. You know the old death rattle approach. That could be kind of nice, where you can actually contest the board. I you know what I want to see? I want to see a deck that plays Twilight Wealth and the Zombie Chow. I want to see a deck that plays those two one drops and gets infinite two threes on the board early. How does that win, that deck win? Um, I mean, you play dragons, like right? One explosive you thought still dragon consort. Unleash the hounds and you lose. <laughs> well, Zixo's hand is not too bad, but it doesn't. You know what? This hand doesn't look like a face hunter. I mm, I can't tell well, from this I, hand that it is a face hunter. It can be both. Midrange Hunter, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or exactly. Face Hunter, but he played it already, so yeah, I know. But like yeah. from from looking at this hand, you wouldn't be able to tell that it's trying to be aggressive. You're like, well, I guess it's slow. <laughs> well, the Sh Shrinkmeister is a great top deck, I would say, because <laughs> you can trade for the uh, Creeper and your. Um, 
<laughs> your zombie tribe is still not contested by those two one ones. By those two one ones, yeah. <laughs> you're, you're more than safe here. Yeah, that's really funny. Let's get physic. Oh, and look at that Velen's chosen. Oh. No way. You play it right oh. now, right? I think so. I mean, zombie chow, I assume. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. I feel like you want to buff the health of that sh that um, that shrink meister. Yeah. So I, then I, you kill like one that. one with your zombie chow. Yeah. And you go phase for five points of damage. That's really weird. What's weird is that hunter's mark would wreck you. What about just fort steal this turn? Nah. And nah. kill two one ones. Really? Okay, I, I guess there would have been a good option there because he could have played massive. But you're so weak to a good animal companion at that point if he trades into one of your guys with a mad scientist. Well, he trades into one of the guys. The second one is still alive. Yeah, you're getting plus four health, so I guess you can trade with a Misha at worst. Yeah. So even a Misha. Oh my god, Valen's look chosen, at this Velen's chosen. Uh, on zombie chow and you kill the Misha, right? And now freezing trap has some value. No, that, you... that's the answer <laughs> for my previous question. Why does a freezing? Why does a freezing trap? Yeah, that's probably yeah. it. I mean, it actually denies the ability for the priest at this point to get what he wants out of that five six. Savic is not going to play into that freezing trap. I mean, there's no for way. Sure. I mean, you need that spell damage at some point, perhaps. Well, he can still think that it's a snake trap. Would he oh, play it now? Oh 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 oh! oh, oh. Disaster detected. Savish fellfish. An explosive trap trigger is doing nothing. You know what though? I That's like this fair. line of play just because the bow is not out, and that way you're not feeding him anything. You know what? I like we're complaining about it, but it's fine. It is so fine. Two traps gone with one attack. I don't think it gets much better than that. And Amisha. That's the best drop we could have gotten in this situation. Healbot. That's nice. SM Orc. No problem. Got a Healbot. Hmm. I think the good thing about freezing is that it's unexpected in general. Um, if anything. Uh oh. Oh, wow. Two options. Actually, wait. This is great. Glaivezuka could be good either way. Because if, if you Glaive Zuka and it, get, it buffs a 2 1, you can use uh, Kill Command on the 5 3, kill with Glaive Zuka, then trade into a 3 2. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I think no matter what happens here, you're happy. You've got a pretty perfect line of play. Well, you trade. Uh, well, never mind. Now it's different. Yeah, it is very different. Well, yeah, it is quite different. But either way, the 5 damage is going to have to be wasted. What if you played the Glaive Zuka first? See the outcomes. He would have traded the Misha into the Belcher. That's what I thought he was going to do, but he decided to take another line of play. I mm -hmm. think he wants to pack damage and not make himself vulnerable to. Oh my oh, god! Man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Never mind. Wow. This feels like the swipe that we saw from, uh, from Show earlier. Yeah. Wouldn't you fall still? I don't know. No, you heal yourself. No, just heal yourself. This is Face Hunter, man. Like you're getting to the seven da the seven mana range oh, wow. where they can burst you down for about twenty five thousand. You got to be Savi's, a little careful. Savi's reaction was kind of graphic to that huffer. Yeah, I think it. Uh, you puke in your mouth a little bit, and the world can see it. Now, Holy Nova are bust, and that's no Nova. You're gonna have to heal, bot. And you know what would be great uh, though? Thought steal and explosive trap. Like Zuka. Oh, Unleash the Hounds. Whoa, Whoa that, that works. One. That and, works. Yeah. Whoa, exactly. And you still keep one. <laughs> yeah, you get you get to keep a hound. Oh man. You've got to be good, scared. Though? You're now, scared of what's coming out. You're really, six, really so... scared. Oh. Three, four, five. You're on the verge of dying. Zixo smelling blood here. But he's gonna be disappointed because there's a an anti kill bot. <laughs> that one hound is actually allowing yeah. Sixo to get more damage. I think you light bomb here to get rid of your hound, right? <laughs> it's a great play. Great play. Great play. Great play. Okay. Great play. All right, so let's see what what's found here. Holy fire! Oh, oh my! The double God. juggle unleash. 
Dark Bomb's gonna be good at the very least. We have to give him that. That Dark Bomb is gonna be pretty solid. I mean, Light Bomb. Yeah, Light Bomb. Sorry, I keep forgetting. It's killing stuff. I don't know why it's called Light Bomb. Well, it's less damage to the face than Zixo would have liked. I can tell you that much. <laughs> Still is almost dead. I mean, well, no, Light Bomb Heal is... Light Bomb Heal is MVP here. The question is whether or not you play Powder Shredder instead of healing, because ultimately you need to win the game eventually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm wondering if Savir is, uh, is running Holy Fire here. It's been oh, seen. Oh, that's worst drop ever. It does give a trap. You can Kabal oh, okay. Shadow though. Um, Owl will be even worse. Never mind. Hoot hoot. Yeah. That's looking great for Savish now. There's only one card being drawn, unless there's a quick shot. Oh my god! Uh oh. There's lethal next turn if he doesn't find uh -oh. something. Wait, does he win now? 4, 8, Four, 9, eight, 10. Nine, this, ten. Is, this is gonna be Shadow the turn that matters most. Abusive Sergeant? No. Nope. Okay, wait. He needs to buff his Shredder and Shadow or Death it and hope for a taunt. This is all you've got. This no, is all you've got, Savich. This, this needs to happen for Savich to win the game, otherwise the game is over. And he's RNG. going to try. And this is going to be a Frostwolf grunt. And oh, no way! There's no way! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, Savich gets one of the few <laughs> Annoyotron, Frostwolf grunt, Anodized Robobot, and Unstable Ghoul being the only four targets coming out of the Shredder. Four possible taunts out of that shredder that was a sick finish and it was a really sweet and you know very quick spot by Savit seeing you know what I've got to try this this is my only hope um, and it worked out four possible outcomes Anodize Robobot, Frostwolf Grunt, Anoyotron and the Ghoul Whew. that was very tense that was that that was uh, that bow top deck for player. Zixo and then he was this close to getting it Wow. So this is when you want to play King Crush. When when I asked you about the fault steal, that one yeah. heal gave him the win because he was at two points fly. You need to you need to heal up when you like sometimes thought steal, especially against hunters, it feels very clunky. There are very few turns that you get to weave it in very easily. Um, and you know that healing is gonna be relevant a lot of the time because usually it comes down to those tiny edges. A lot of the time you remember the old zoo decks. Sometimes you stop them straight up, what but when you didn't you could still win, but you finish the game and stabilize when you want six, seven health. Uh, yeah. And this is kind of how Face Hunter feels when you're playing Priest nowadays. Mm hmm. True. Well, and wow. interesting game and uh, very exciting. Definitely. So it's going to be a, oh goodness, it's going to be a warrior versus a warrior next. Well, I mean, it has to be because Savich is going to be going to a second deck, his third deck, Warrior. Um, we're about to sleep some residents and. I mean, if Savic wins this, he's going to be going 3-1, so he's going to be getting his win for the match, but... Excuse me, I was already sleeping. It's fine, I don't blame you. You want to go to bed? I I'll hit you up when we're halfway through the game. It's, it's what, 2.44 p.m. here. I'll hit you up when it's like 4. <laughs> Just, uh, so we can see the end of the game, or at least the second half. Okay, you so... Can go. No problem. Wow, antique healbot. Fatigue, warrior, nah, incoming. it's just... It's just tweaked against Hunters. And uh, Alex Straza. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a pretty good hand for uh, for Savic. I saw Yeah. all his uh, early game, the card draw possibilities for uh, for Zixo. Unfortunately, there's no such card draw for Savic. No Acolyte of Pain. Let the pain speak to me. The Armorsmith is still a good play. Double Armorsmith. Now that's important. You can stack the armor from the start of the game. Yep. Never you mind. have the biggest possible the shield slams ever. What I don't like is to play the Acolyte of Pain in the mirror meshes without any kind of trigger. Immediately, yeah. Uh... Immediately, yeah. It feels like the warrior wins, which has more cards most of the time. And... In the mirror match, that's the case, definitely. Yeah, and when you, when you trade your Acolyte of Pain just for a cycle, too bad. And look at that, like Zixo's axe traded one for one with Armorsmith, where Savich's axe is getting an Acolyte of Pain and something else. Yeah, there's something else was really important. And the coin bomb lover is gonna be a perfect kill here, if he opts uh, for it. What about just Pilot Shredder? 
It seems good. to be wanting to get played. It hovered in the air there for a few <laughs> seconds, like, hey, I, I'm here. Yeah. Never mind that play, he's really bad. Well, well that's still not bad. No, it's you pretty solid. Yeah. It's armor, what do you expect? Ooh. Blackrock Mountain came out, boys. BRM is out. Is the um the Battlefly what 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 was the name? The Battlefly? What's the name of the Drake? The Fru 2? The Fairy Dragon. Fairy Dragon, yeah, right. Oh, the Battlefly. Oh my god, is that a translation from another language? Yeah, I thought Could so. Be. Well, I, oh, never mind. Uh, is it a dragon in the World of Warcraft lore too? Like no, the... it's not actually, from what I recall. I, I think it's classified as one, but if you look at some specific bits of lore, Fairy Dragon is not actually a dragon. It's like a fake creature, rather, in most mm -hmm, of mm -hmm. It's like a sprite, a little fairy thing, rather than a dragon. Um, but yeah, it is from the Emerald Dream, like Ysera, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's considered something of a dragon. Doctor oh, Six, oh, oh. Boys. but you don't want to play it now because oh, there's a death spite open. So you just drop the Amos Smith, I think. Amos Smith and Task Taskmaster. No, you want to keep the Taskmaster. So you just drop the Amos Smith, attack for face with the weapon, and drop the second weapon. Do you play? A or second you maybe just play Belcher. Yeah, and... I like Belcher Armor Smith maybe. That way you get like infinite yeah. armor from the yeah, uh, also good. Win axe. But then you play into Brawl next turn because you want to play the Dr. Boom on Dr. Seven. Right. And uh, you have five creatures on board. That's nothing you want to do against the second warrior, I think. Right. So he can opt to play it a bit slower, honestly, and I wouldn't fault him for that. Hmm. The problem in this position is that both players are, in, are having to top deck. Um, which means they have pretty good follow-ups, but it's all going to come down to what the players get in the next three turns from the top, because these boars and these hands go pretty much face-to-face -face in a very effective manner. Oh, there's the brawl! Yeah, look at that Baron getting value, though. Pretty good. What's the answer? Taskmaster execute? I think so. You want to keep the armor for the shield slams, right? Ideally, yes. Both <laughs> players with a brawl here. You want to keep the armor for what else? Let's ask. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, what? What the, the what the hell? I'm not sure. What? That's weird, right? Actually, it's not that bad because it forces a trade from Barry getting to boom, and you're left with three one ones. Kind of like the it's it's a ghetto master, master for battle at this point. What about attacking phase and rolling? You won't get a bigger roll than that. And no, most I don't of the time so. you won't do a 50-50 with two big creatures. And if I guess the worst outcome happens, you still have fiery war axe execute, and you have shield maidens to heal you up if everything goes wrong. So yeah, I think that's uh, that's a line of play you could consider. Although you are weak to uh, Ragnaros if the boom bot hit hard and you lose the uh, the brawl. But I don't dislike it. It'll hmm. come down to what Zixo thinks is optimal here. By the way, I wonder how many words Zixo has to write in that essay he's writing there. I have a 32 word essay to give tomorrow and I, I don't have time. I'm sitting here casting a game. Um, I don't know how I'll be able to do that 30 word essay, man. Yeah, Xixxo has like 50. Well, he's gonna go for the value play with one execute and get ba let Baron get and get the most value he can out of this board. And I die to the bombs. That, but what if the bombs hit? Well, what about... 8 damage to the face? That would be a Ragnaros kill, a Grom kill. 1 and 2 and... This is pretty much perfect, right? Well, it's still a shield slam. Uh, you go face with the fairy warrocks? Uh, I don't know about that. You could just kill Baron, I mean. He well, he's going the on the offensive, trying to find that... Either Ragnaros or Grom Hellscream. Oh, he didn't kill it! He lets the Baron get and deal damage to Zixo. Mm-hmm. 
That's a bit awkward, but now you just Alex throws at the opponent's face? Or do you are you afraid of getting killed right away? Yeah, he's afraid of getting killed. He's trying to set up next turn he's got lethal, I think. If uh Savich doesn't armor up. Yeah, he's got even with armor up, he's got lethal next turn with Alex, so. Savich That's needs nice. to Oh wow, he finds the Harrison Jones to counter the weapon that would have given lethal to Zixo. Shield Oh no way! So you can now clear the board. So you completely. Should... Yeah. Yeah, just armor up and execute that thing. Why not shield, block, shield, shield slam. slam? Do you need to shield block now? I, yeah, I guess you right. could. Well, I guess you, you could. You want to get the the kill next turn. If you would just shield block this turn, you, you could have top decked Gromesh and then kill with the Taskmaster. I think Savage doesn't know how close he was to dying. He was very, very close. There was a huge amount of damage on the board. Now well, he has to double armor up. Yeah. Should block and hero power. It's perfect, in fact. Oh wow, that's nice. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty cool. The, the, it's only nice because it's a five-five. It's not even because it has a. But really you can sick play it this turn. You just play Death Spider and go face. Yep. Still nine points of damage. That's kind of pressuring. So. Yeah, who just used Alex Straza, which was his big heal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Unless he, he still comes has out one with shield maiden and the shield block. Which I didn't yep. really call uh, caught last turn. Okay, so well, Doctor Boom. Uh, what about Shield Slam? Um, oh God, Shields Maiden. It dies to. The oh man, spider, you're so but, uh... afraid of Rom Hellscream though here in Zixo's position. I say Doctor Boom because I know what's not in Savich's hand, but I I really can't say that. Just playing it a bit slower is probably the best line of play, assuming you don't know what's your opponent, uh, what your opponent is holding, oh, and he would have died. Wow. What a sick catch. He still can win though, no? Attack with Death's Bite, attack in the slime, and then Gromash, Quill Task. No, he can't win yet. It's he close can't enough. Win it, but um, I think you just drop Loaded. Kill the... Kill the Belcher. Kill the little slime. Drop Loaded, armor up. And that's it. It's so tempting to drop Gromash here before your opponent gets the board initiative, but you would throw the game in this case because there is a BGH Doctor yeah, Boom yeah. immediate counterplay. You have to keep the Gromash in those mirror matches to just win the game, to finish it, finish it off. Yep, exactly. And I think this is the biggest, um, the biggest game swinger I guess we've seen is when a warrior plays Gromash for non-lethal, mm -hmm, they tend mm -hmm, to lose mm -hmm. the game. Yeah, it's something I've noticed very often, and I'm not the only one. Is uh, if Gromash is played and it's not a kill, then it's generally a really bad spot. True. Shavich has a little smirk on his face, but that's his uh, kind of unusual face, a little uh, little smile. That sounded way too soft. I love Shavich's little smile. <laughs> Goodness. No. <laughs> I, I, I'm on the internet. I shouldn't say stuff like this, right? Lothar, you need to stop me when I go on tangents like this. All right, so we're going to see Grom Hellscream. He's going to be That's one 12, off 22, lethal, right? 22, 22, oh, 22 points of damage. Of, yeah, yeah. he's uh, quite, quite away from lethal, but close and enough that you want to go full face. The brawl with execute. Well, you know what? Zixo, have... Zixo could win this. Yeah, I know. Zixo could totally win this. So a good you here. go face, and then you. Actually, brawl. wait. You you trade with you trade with Lothab. You ex you BGH Grom, and you execute the five two. Yeah, it that's is. it. You that's, don't even have to brawl. Better. Wow. Whoa. He goes brawl for is too tempting. Well, he goes for the brawl. So that's I not mean, bad either. But then Lothab you have lives, to use the Taskmaster task. for execute. Or you don't care, it okay, doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah, do you, do you still matter. do it? You might as well, right? Well, you're, you're dead to the one death spite that's remaining for Savish, right? There was one death spite left, I think. Yeah. Two so. weapons already played from the... I mean, the f two fairy, uh, fairy war axes were played already. Oh man, look at this. This is so close. There's a possibility. Oh no. A 5-4 Belcher. Well, that's enough for lethal next turn, though. If Savic 
Oh my god, he's able to kill the Belcher. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no way. I cannot believe this. Zixo is able to stick in this game with that second cool task. And now Ceviche is looking at the win and it feels like he's slipping further and further away. Uh, he has to draw... Nuts. Not that. <laughs> I, I think... Uh, uh, well, you do attack face and uh, hero power and pass. I think you want to get a really good minion out of that brawl. You can't just brawl those two health minions. Well, you have not activated for the execute. It's it's a dead card. Mm -hmm. For the time being, at the very least. Yeah. And he goes for the brawl. Okay, that's... Uh... can smell the punishment. Hmm. So I wonder if a cruel taskmaster will live. <laughs> yeah, it, it does. Of course, there's like three of them. <laughs> and you can play execute on it. Whoa, Gore Hal for lethal. Whoa, man. Gore Hal for lethal. What if Savage top decks Gore Hal and wins? So like seven damage to the face. Back to back Gore Hals. Oh, man. Where oh, will Into execute? What? No way that this happened. No way. <laughs> oh, goody. That was the best card he could have gotten. Oh, goody. I can't actually believe this. This makes no sense. I, I just don't, I cannot understand what's happening. What? Oh, no. Wow. And I thought no Zixo way. had this. Savic, you know what? Uh, the top decks are insane. And it kills the... Never mind. <laughs> it kills the Arbusman. <laughs> so I guess you play Harrison Jones and you pass. You hope it hits your face. No, yeah. you don't. Do you hope it hits your face? I guess yes, because you need that yeah, minion you, to live. I, I think you do. But the question is, how do you... Do you even play Harrison Jones? Why not? I don't know. This is like a dead turn. Yeah, I think Savich has the perfect lead here, as I said earlier. Wow, That's a what, huge what? Shields Maiden. <laughs> Dude! It, could... What was the name of the tutorial uh, King Mukla's helper? I don't know, this is the the big brother, or whatever. Yeah, but you remember brother. how huge was it, right? Yeah, the 1010. Yeah. That's how big it was. All right, well, that's going to be game four, Savic, which I think means he's Ooh. got the entire match done. He, won. Wins, wow. he won with his priest, he won with his uh, his warrior, and he won with his mage. Very control-heavy lineup for Savic, and this is the first time, I think, where it really pays off. We've seen Savic bring control-heavy lineups and get punished very severely, but not this time around. Yeah, well, <laughs> but let's be serious about this, this game. That was just a top-deck fest. But that's what I said early, like, you know, we, I saw them both players with four cards, five cards, no Acolytes of Pain inside. And, mm -hmm. I, and I just said, you know, this is going to come down to who top decks the best, basically. And it took a little while to get there, but then it just came down to that. And Savich got the Ragnaros at the end. Actually, wait, no. There was a, <laughs> there was a second cool task. Into a Whirlwind, with the Execute, into a Gorhal, into a Ragnaros. So that was a really intense back and forth top deck war. But ultimately, it really did come down to whoever was going to get the best draws. Yeah, that's true. Well, <laughs> entertaining match, though. Yeah, definitely. So that's going to be the match. Savic versus Zixo. We're going to have another match coming right up after this. It's going to be RDU versus Orange. RDU currently 1-3 in KPL, and Orange, Orange is 0-4. Yeah. With the uh, worst possible score at this point, and he's got to feel like he's on the brink. Uh, he's got to get nearly a perfect score to actually stay in the event for season two, so he's gonna do his best to come back up. Or do you probably also feeling the heat, but maybe not as much. That being said, guys, we'll be back for a 10 minute break, and uh, after that point, we'll be casting the game. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 